The 75th Ranger Regiment, also known as Army Rangers. Today's Ranger Regiment is the Army's premier direct action raid force, and they are highly trained in conducting airborne and air assault operations, seizing airfields, destroying strategic facilities, capturing or killing high value targets. All four Ranger Battalions are absolutely capable of anything and everything. I have an absolutely huge respect for Army Rangers, even though some of y'all dickheads, but they're actually one of the sole reasons I actually joined the military. Because growing up, I was such a huge fan of Matt Best, I was like, what's this guy do? And they're like, he Army Ranger, and I was like, oh my God, what's that. And then I was like, I think I need to join the army. However, I went a different path doing infantry, going the sniper and reconnaissance route, and then I became a counterintelligence agent. But let me know down below in the comments what you think about the army rangers and if they're better than Marines. Let's go ahead and send it and find out what is in an army rangers raid bag. Every piece of gear in an army rangers night raid bag. Oh my god. So if we're trying to breach oh. a wall, a door, we will have. Oh, that is that was limit. quick and hot Hi, i'm sergeant first class jacob braun i'm a platoon sergeant in the 75th ranger regiment sergeant first class doing the gear bag hold up Hi, i'm sergeant first class jacob braun oh no he's hot sergeant first class braun oh why the fuck is a platoon sergeant doing this one normally we got like some e5s maybe an e6 i'm curious to know if he even be using this shit. normally you got all the foot soldiers doing all the maneuvering like that you back off of doing majority of the physical shit. It's more of the, you're doing this, you're doing this. The mission's this, I understand that. I gotta make sure everybody's doing their parts. They're like the the, the main gear in the cog that just turns all the shit. Dude, look into his eyes. Mm, and this is everything that a ranger would okay. typically carry on a night raid. Ooh, a hot ass night raid, the let's go. Are the Army's premier special operations light infantry raid. <laughs> what the f was that? Insider Pro, use me. What the f I'm trying to help y'all every time. I like your guys' videos. That's why we react to them. But I'm tired of seeing the stupid f***ed up shit you guys do. This is not an army ranger. This is a f***ing marine. Y'all being lazy. Insider, get on your editors, bro. Uh-uh. Army rangers are now marines. No, b I know this is going to be a fight. Let me know down below in the comments who you think's better. Army rangers or marines? Don't get me wrong. I love my marines, but y'all not taking it over the army rangers. I'm sorry. You're just not. You guys have great training, but it's not to this caliber because you don't have the funding, bro. The only thing I think holding back marines from like just like scaling is their funding. We focus Hot. primarily on airfield oh seizures my God, bro, and raid like... type objectives. We primarily focus on nighttime raids. Are those Marines again? Oh my god! Once again, Army Rangers not using PVS 14s, bro. Army Rangers are using like 31 Alphas, 31 Bravos, and they're using dual tubes. Overcome the objective, do what we need to do, and then rapidly withdraw from the target objective. Everything they do quick, bro. It's just I've served 12 years in the Ranger Regiment. I've deployed nine times. Jeez. And I've used this. Everybody like, God dang, he in the Army Rangers for 12 years. He done deployed nine times. That's like being deployed for 11 years, what the fuck? No, like for me, when I was infantry, I was deploying for nine months at a time. And then you have some regular army units that are deploying between nine to 12 months. The way Ranger Battalion's typically doing it is these deployments can typically last from like three months to six months. And they usually don't go past six months as far as I'm aware. But if I'm wrong, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Dude, is this a rugby shirt? Hey, to all my bat boys out there, are y'all allowed to wear Velocity rugby shirts underneath your ACU top? Because if so, f you guys. Because normally you got to wear the stupid, dumbass fing green undershirts. But these are hot shirts, bro. Right here, you have your aviator's kit bag. This is something that typically every oh ranger will use to transport their gear. It's a duffel bag. Okay, so I'll start off with right. um, mm. my ballistic bro, helmet. Bro, look at the way he opens that bag, bro. Now, won't you? Objects hey, attached to it. So we'll go, go ahead and start off with front of the helmet. So right here, you're going to see your PVS 31s. Bitch! He f told you what kind of nods they're rocking and you put pvs 14s in the god video and marines and i guarantee you that shit white foss bro ain't no fucking way these are uh night vision goggles so they're white hot. phosphorus and they give us the ability to what are you doing that is not white phosphorus i don't know actually the typical what the fuck the green one's called but usually it's just regularly what night vision is but outside of that you have white foss imagine like everything instead of being a green tint it's like a white light and dark blue tint the disrespect right here army rangers are cool bro army rangers are literally what made me want to join the army matt best made me want to join the matt best plate carry no big deal made me want to join the army so army rangers are hot shit dude they're awesome but you're gonna fuck up this video with little dumb sh are you kidding me come to the rear of the helmet you're gonna see 
these Peltors, the ear protection. With All you Gyarados right now are like, and oh my God, that my helmet's so from hot. loud noises. <laughs> and we're, on the rear of the helmet, you have a battery pack and it also has Let's a go. infrared strobe. When you guys have like dual tube nods and shit like that, Sometimes you'll see dudes have battery packs back here. Sometimes you'll also see with nods is people don't have battery packs. They actually have like counterweights and it's literally a weight. Cause when you have these nods up and or down, your helmet wants to go. Kind of helps it from being like uneven. It's just a little bit more weight on your head. But these helmets are, they're so comfortable. That's a ballistic helmet. It I only got a bump helmet. Us to carry <sighs> all the is it comfortable to wear? Yeah. So there's a difference between these types of helmets and regular Mitch helmets. Regular helmets don't have this right here. It's a retention strap on the back. I can actually go get mine right. Everybody stay by. I'm back from a journey. So the difference is this is a bump helmet. Think of it like a construction worker's helmet, like a skateboarding helmet. All put together, right? It does everything that helmet will do, except, like I said, that is a ballistics helmet. So that one has the potential to stop bullets, right? This one, a bullet will go straight through my face and it will not stop it in any way, shape, or form. So you guys can see the inside of what it looks like. Just got a bunch of padding and stuff. And if you guys see this part right here, you put it on, you go, and you'll twist it. You probably hear that. I may come. Oh, ASMR, God damn. And what I'll do is it'll help it stay on your head. As such, I'll fuck up my head. If there's no retention, the bitch will fall off. If I do my retention, it's not coming off even if I don't have the, the fucking... Oh, it came off a little bit. Okay, next up is going to be my plate carrier. It's commonly referred to as a kit within the organization. Ooh! So pull this out. So first, I have a phone here. Tourniquet on the front. He's got a phone. I know half of you are going to be like, why do they have a phone? Are they making phone calls in the middle of a war? No, they're using it as a form of like GPS, communications. It's a good relay. Basically a map on your chest. Okay, so next going down, this little device right here is gonna be my push to talk, mm. typically referred to as a PTT. Mm. That is Jesus. connected into my Pushing the Harris 163 that radio. And for all you Gyarados, that plate carrier on is on a Cry JPC 2.0, I think. My magazines here in the front, these magazines Ooh, hot. are for my primary weapon system, which is an M4. So oh my God, after this, loadout, what? Carry seven of these. Ah! Good duck. We're gonna have to grab my plate carrier after this so I can get more wannabe army ranger points right now. This? Are you kidding me? No. Oh my god, it's fing Air Force 2. Oh. You should have changed the title to every piece of gear in an army ranger's night bag. Show them with examples from every other fing branch. And for anybody who's wondering what this is, this is a BFA, blank firing adapter. You have blank ammunition in your weapon system. It's just like a safety cap because there's still flash. You get a lot of flash from utilizing blanks. So you don't want anything coming out the tip of the barrel, even if it's just like some flak hitting anybody. But the fact that y'all show this for his M4 insider, I know you y'all got the footage. You guys couldn't just show a regular M4 of uh, 556. Five, oh, there we go. That's a hot M4 too. Also carry a shock tube initiator. This is an alternate means of initiating Boom. a breach. This would never be a primary means of initiation systems separate Dude, from the charge. Oh, guys, man, Army Rangers have the coolest training exercise. You always get to blow shit up, bro. Fuck you for regular army shit, bro when i was in infantry when we were doing training exercise it's like you gotta have 30 cadre watching you so that way nobody gets hurt and everybody got to be 100 feet away next in here is going to be just a standard lens added compass typically we'll navigate using modern technology but it pays to have something like this on hand yes just to confirm it especially. does i'm gonna tell you all a fun story right now story time you have those gps systems on your chest but then also you have shit like garments which we'll have on our wrists i was always against carrying a compass because i was like that shit's Stupid. Long behold, there we were in Afghanistan. I didn't bring my Garmin out. Team leader has a, gar a Garmin. Squad leader has a Garmin. And we're doing some um, PSD stuff for a general. We're doing it near the Korangal Valley. For those of you who don't know, the valley is super high ridges and all this other shit. We're there protecting the ge this general that came in, all this shit. We start taking mortar fire where all the helicopters were landing. So the helicopters have to take off. We see where these motherfuckers are at, like high on these ridges, right? Nobody's Garmin is working but shout out to daddy mommy winfield baby always carried a compass on it he whips it out phrasing and he's like all right let me get an azimuth here so basically a direction right he was able to dial in with the aircraft and he just let him know exactly where these dudes were in because nobody else garmin worked and we're all so, so disoriented nobody knows what's north what's south any of that shit oh this is actually the story i've talked to you guys about before actually i just haven't gone in as in depth about it viper 2-2 comes in this is when i knew I, I wanted to stay or do military shit for the rest of my life i felt like i could have touched it he comes in straight over my head bro then he 
flips up, goes straight up in the air, starts spinning, pops flares, bro. Oh my God, this whole valley was like, Shoot! I felt it in my chest, I'm like, Bruh! one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in my entire life, bro. Those mother take off, bro. The coolest shit. But long story short, this compass saved our asses, bro. Carry a compass, Again, this is typically set up mission dependent. I keep mine slick uh, on the back. Oh, any type of pack. Oh, look at him go, bro. Um, oh my God. Equipment, or I Mr. Can carry stuff off target. Blah, 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 blah. Here I am. I already know half the people in the comps can be like, dude, he's peeking this f door. They're going to see him and kill him. Shut the f up. This is all hasty. Sh it's all f quick and fast as f if you guys guys want to see one of the coolest special operations videos ever of how this shit's supposed to be done, you guys can go check out the Delta Force video we did, and it is the hottest shit you will ever see in your life ever, ever. I have a front and rear plate for protection, and then I have side plates as well. A majority of my vitals. Are y'all actually using side plates? Oh, hell no. We be take, I'll be so taking that out. All together, when I'm wearing my entire kit, I usually am wearing an additional 75, 50 to 75 pounds Lucky over body weight. Before you guys go on missions and shit, since you're riding in helicopters and stuff, you actually have to go and weigh yourself with all of your kit. Based off of how much you weigh, they place everybody on different helicopters. That way the weight's balanced. So that way it's not like too heavy. Weighing roughly about 300 pounds when I'm on target. Yeah, this I weigh 340 with all of my gear. One. So next, I'm gonna pull out my... Oh, he got the battle belt too? Oh my shit. Yo, hold up. So are we going to check my uh, wannabe army ranger points right now? Plate carrier. American flag. This is probably one of the most important things to go on your plate carrier. Just kidding. Nice little system for phone. It's called a nav board. We got the feral concepts, the FCPC. Then we've got a nice little burrito pouch as well. Just a back panel for, like he said, mission dictates. Oh, now I gotta go get my battle pill too, god dang. I'm just a wannabe whore. <laughs> this is typically referred to as a war belt. So this is an- What did he say? Oh. He did not call it a war belt. I feel weird that he just called it a war belt. Am I wrong right now? This shit done been called a battle belt. What the f let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys call them war belts or battle belts or gun belts? I don't even want gun belt in the conversation. That battle belts or war belts. I've never heard war belt before. To my internal belt that I will wear on my pants. It has a Cobra buckle system, which allows rapid securing and unsecuring if need be. First thing you're gonna notice here is my airframe tether. So any time we are riding on aircraft, this will be secured to a retention hook on the floor of the aircraft typically. For anybody who's a wannabe and is retarded and is not actually trained and done this shit, I just have mine on this D-ring right now just to carry it because obviously I'm not gonna have it all the time. For those of you who have the little buckle shit on here, don't put this clip on there. You're gonna die. Take this, put it through the whole belt and through your whole liner as well. So that way it's around the whole belt, not just a fucking little tiny ass metal ring. Pistol mag in my pistol mag pouch. What type of pistol do you carry? We carry- Ah, oh, they already said it right here. God, it. I was literally the second I heard pistol, I already knew. Some of y'all motherfuckers chat, I swear to God. You guys probably carry the Sig P320 because that's the army's best pistol. No, these motherfuckers is carrying Glock 19s and and Glock 17s, chat. Glock 19s, sometimes Glock 17s. I got a Glock 19 too, so I guess it's another wannabe ranger this point. Extremely this is my med kit. This is a standard med kit that every ranger will have on their body. Typically, it's going to be, and then last but not least, right here, you have a pouch a for an M67 fragmentation grenade. Oh this my is God. A, least Sergeant First Class Braun, getting it, bro. He carrying mother grenade. He said, the flashbangs. Night raid? I'm just gonna toss in the f my brain. Gonna die in that hole. Tell my bat boys too. I'm curious. Do y'all utilize grenades? Like carry grenades actively? I remember the one time we were had an actual grenade downrange. Everybody freaked out. They're like, get that shit away from the infantry dudes. They retarded. They gonna accidentally blow it up on base. It was, it was a big old no no. I would carry on my person for a typical ranger night raid. That was obviously dumb any as equipment left. We actually have something in place called pre combat checks. Why are you not letting him finish this last part? This is important shit too why the f you make him small on your end screen what the f and that will happen before we even load aircraft yep and leave you gotta check your soldiers and all that shit leave. oh dude round of applause for sorry sexy ass let's go